This is Paranormal Challenge. Ben Hurst. Sound just flew past me. Go, 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 go. go. You spent your whole life screaming for help. Your help is here. Three teams. Dude, what the f***? One night. Please help me. One haunted location. One winner. For the ultimate in bragging rights. As a paranormal investigator myself, I know that this location is very challenging. Zach Bagans, the Paranormal Challenge Chairman, is also lead investigator and co-founder of the highly respected Ghost Adventures crew. Listen, push. He has completed hundreds of investigations, working with the world's renowned paranormal researchers and scientists. Well, I brought in, uh, you know, Quest Paranormal and New Jersey Ghost Hunters. Uh, they're two great teams. I wanted to have them go head-to-head -head because they seem so opposite. One team uh, seems more kind of, you know, rough and tough. The other one, to me, seems a little bit more uh, technical. New Jersey Ghost Hunters Society, based in Hackettstown, New Jersey. Hi, I'm Laura Laddick. I'm the founder of the New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society. I'm more the skeptic. I want to find out what's going on, but I don't rush in believing everything is paranormal. My name is Nathan Schoonover. I specialize in the occult. I also research what the history is of a location. Rob is perfect in terms of his technical expertise. Creaks, cracks you hear. I like to get to the bottom of it using instrumentation more so than going by feelings. Each of us brings our own theories, our own ideas, our own practices to the table. There's a lot of groups out there, but 50 years of combined experience really sets us apart. Quest Paranormal Society, based in Reading, Pennsylvania. The motto of Quest is seeking the truth. Kenny's a badass. My specialty is deploying the equipment and deploying the personnel. I'm a former Marine, so I'll run it in a military fashion. And when I say it, it's final. My name is Elaine D'Angelo. I'm co-founder and assistant director of Quest Paranormal Society. This is our life. This is our passion. We're good at what we do, and we're good as a team. I'm Robert Barrasso. I'm seeking the truth. I want to know if there's really paranormal activity out there. That's what drives me. My impression of Penhurst, it's very disturbing here. I've always wanted to be a part of an investigation here. I just want to get in and do my thing. We've been trained. We're qualified. We're going to win this thing hands down. Teams, how you doing? Great. 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 This is Patrick Smith. Patrick is a Penhurst historian, and he also knows a lot about the paranormal happenings and the areas that you're going to be investigating. So without further ado, take these teams around, and I must say, pay very close attention to what he tells you. I picked Penhurst because you cannot find a place with a darker, more sinister energy. This isn't Disneyland. This is Penhurst. Plagued by severe overcrowding and repulsive conditions, Penhurst State School was an unthinkable wasteland of suffering, abuse, and neglect. These are some of the sights and sounds of Penhurst, the state institution for the mentally retarded. 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 What was originally built as a safe haven for so many troubled and lost souls in 1908, slowly degenerated into a dumping ground for thousands of disabled patients. Now abandoned, this decaying campus is a virtual hornet's nest of paranormal activity. We're here at Mayflower. This is where they house a lot of what they used to call low-functioning patients. You'll take a look around, you'll see lots of furniture. We're talking about physically disabled and mentally disabled people. Uh, they were milling around, a lot of them, some of them laying down, kind of moving from side to side. You would also see them literally lying in their own feces. When we entered the Mayflower, that, that took me because of the young children and the sadness in there. What I saw when I walked into these buildings here was people in large groups, naked, lying on the ground, and crying, screaming, behaviors that would frighten any uh, person walking in off the street. At nighttime, it was a completely different world. You could be lured down here or just picked up and taken down here. They had to learn to survive, and to learn to survive, they had to keep people away from them. Don't touch me, don't get near me, and mostly, at night, don't rape me. 
coming with me. We're going into one of the most infamous buildings of this whole campus. Quaker was known foremost for its violent patients. They could be doing anything from beating each other to hurting themselves by banging their heads against the wall. If you bit somebody more than twice, they would take your teeth out. Sometimes they would do that without sedation. A lot of the areas would have been seclusion rooms, and they would put them in seclusion, let's say, by ties on a bed, uh, sometimes to chairs, sometimes in jackets. For an hour, a day, it could be hundreds of hours. We also have this account of there's an older person that used to take younger patients and put them behind the screen, doing God knows what we don't know. I feel a lot of negativity in the basement, and I can't wait to get in there and challenge that negative energy. This whole campus uh, is connected by tunnels. You could be lured out here. You could get lost down here. You would never find your way back. If fear and pain can linger, and I'm not certain it may, but if it can, it must linger here. With the competition set to begin, Zach gets each team geared up with the most advanced paranormal detection equipment for tonight's challenge. How do you guys feel about getting ready to go in this place? We're excited. That's, 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 right. Right. that's rough. You guys getting amped up or what? Oh, yeah. I'm fired up. On the tables before each of you are the same exact pieces of equipment. Each of you are going to receive two digital recorders, two infrared camcorders. One full spectrum camcorder, one full spectrum still camera, one thermal imaging camera, and one melmeter that measures for electromagnetic energy and also temperature. Well, good luck to you guys, and uh, wait for my signal, suit up, and uh, remember, we'll be watching you. Teams will conduct their investigations simultaneously. New Jersey ghost hunters will begin in Mayflower Hall and Quest Paranormal will start out in Quaker Hall. Strict time constraints are designed to push each team to the limit. They will only be given two hours to complete part one of the investigation, then switch locations and continue investigating for two more hours in part two. Teams will be judged on overall teamwork, technological proficiency, historical knowledge, and audio and visual evidence they are ultimately able to capture. Tonight's judges are three of the country's most notable paranormal experts. Dave Schrader, acclaimed paranormal conference lecturer, co-author of The Other Side, A Teen's Guide to Ghost Hunting, and host of the popular talk show, Darkness Radio. Can we get four? Jeff Belanger, paranormal journalist, author of a dozen books on the unexplained, and consulting historian for hundreds of investigations. And Beth Brown, who has investigated the paranormal for over 20 years, conducting hundreds of investigations, and founded the Virginia School of Paranormal Education and Research. All three judges, along with Zach, our chairman, will evaluate the investigators' every move from a secret nerve center location. Quest Paranormal, are you ready? Yes. New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society, are you ready? Yes, we're ready. All right, the portals are open. Let the challenge begin. Guys, starting the clock. They got two hours. All right, we're going to do a prayer. Protect us from any negative or evil energy in this building and help us in our quest for the truth. Amen. Amen. Don't with us. All right. Let me out. Whoa, what was that? Oh. Whoa. Lost audio from Mayflower. So right now the clock has started and we are watching every single move that they're going to be making. We have Jeff, Dave, and also Beth. Uh, we're judging them right now in three different categories of technology, teamwork, and history. Dave, can you talk to us about uh, kind of like the tech setup we got going? Yeah, actually, we've got the team split up over two of the main buildings. Over in the Mayflower, where the New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society is, we have three floors to investigate plus a basement. In the Quaker building, we have two floors plus the basement and a tunnel system that the team can investigate. In each building, we've got a number of cameras that are set up, and each team has one cameraman that's following them along during their investigation. 
Digital sweep bar, the lane, give me digital temp. 46 degrees. Digital sweep. Voice recorder's on, ready to roll. Team Quest jumped right into it. They started with a really nice uh, team little meeting right at the beginning and then set off. So they're already investigating? Yes. And it looks like they're, we're still setting up equipment over here? You're in charge of that, because I have no idea how it works. Of course, half the stuff I have no idea how it works. That's not a good start for teamwork or technology, is it? I'm reaching out to the energy that's down in this basement. We hear you're an old man who likes to abuse people. We're here to challenge you. Why are you so evil? Because he gets away with it. <gasps> Whoa. Point 0.10 down to zero point zero. Throw something at me. Well, you've got reports of a poltergeist activity down there. You need to use provocation to try and elicit that activity, and I see that's what Kenny's trying to do right now. Go on, you psycho bastard. Wait, shh. Did you hear that, Bob? Yeah. Just, just give me a frickin' second here. Yeah, I just got a man in the doorway. Let me out! Let me out! Woo! Let me out! It seems that their emotions are creating a lot of energy, which I like. Right. Audio up on Mayflower, please. Did you hear the footsteps over there? No. On which side? This side. All right. Is there someone in here? I'll go in there. I can only see two team members, and I happen to catch over here one of the static cams. Nathan is repeatedly walking away from the group, long distances. It's striking me that they went in with what appears to be no plan. Yeah, it's nice of you to shine a light for me to get up here. Come on. Just get... wait a second. Bob, I'm getting so. Elaine, shut the up, would you? There seems to be a lot of infighting with the team, Jeff. I'm trying to decide if it's infighting or this is uh, their, the way they show affection. It's a little warmer up here, guys. We got a 51.4. Yeah, Wait, shh. Did you hear that? Yes. The f was that? It's water dripping on a cola can. That was next. If you hear us say next, that's quest term for natural, earthly explanation. It's very important to debunk things because then you can rule it out as being paranormal. And that is a sign of a very good investigator. Watch your uh, cross beam there, Nate. Nathan, you want to come over with the full spectrum? Yay, something I know how to work. Because <laughs> the children in here from the historian, they wanted to be comforted, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and comfort them. 99. Say goodnight, go to sleep, little baby. Nighty night, now good night. I felt like something just hit me in the head and the hair. Right now we're about an hour into the investigation and just watching Quest Paranormal definitely seems that they've taken more of a provocative approach in their investigating, trying to elicit more of the darker spirits. Wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Did you just throw something at me? No! Let's step back. What hit you? I don't know. It was something, it wasn't big. If you threw something at me, could you do it again? Were there children in this room? This is the floor where all the crazy lit psychos were. No. Well, were. What are you talking about? There were five year olds in this room. Floor. There were five year olds in this room. Oh, come on. Read the history. Read the history. In the environment that they're at, where there were children that were abused, where there were people that were uh, mentally handicapped and were abused, they're also very uh, aggressive to one another. It may cause the spirits to back, back away off. from them. Uh, I, so I think that could weigh against them in their investigation. Present, can you swing this door shut? If you can't speak because they took all your teeth out, kick something, bang something. Just asked a couple of questions. Kenny's sitting on. And Elaine, I, I read the history of this place. They, they housed everybody that was crazy. Uh, door closing. Door closed. Hard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is good. Audio yeah. up on Quaker. This place, they, they housed everybody that was crazy. Uh, door closing. Door closed. There's a door stop. See it? The door stop was kicked out from it. 
What was the door stop doing on the opposite end of the door? I heard that. I heard that. Let's go. Just shh. Right here. It sounds no. like kids are screaming. Yeah, that's the other end. Scream. Right there. Oh. Right there. Come on. Let's go. While it looks like it's all lit up in here like that, that looks like a flashlight in your face, you can't see that. That's infrared light. That's invisible to us. They are in pitch black. Beth, where is uh, New Jersey Ghost Hunters? Uh, right now they're in the basement. It looks like they're prepping to do an EVP session. Great. At only an hour and ten minutes into the hunt, it's, it's good to see they're going to finally go for audio. All right, you guys want to go all quiet, do some EVPs, see if we can get some yeah. reaction? Do you want to come in as the fatherly? Yeah. You do the motherly, and then I'll come in with the authority? Show us a sign that you're here. You hear something over there? Okay, listen up. I'm here now. The abuse stops now. If you want to pick on someone, you pick on someone your own size. You're not going to hurt these children anymore. There's a way to speak to us right here. But you gotta speak to us. Holy crap, what's that? That's the temperature changing. It just dropped. So here's one of the devices that the uh, teams are using. It's called a melmeter. And what's really good about this melmeter is it uh, measures for electromagnetic energy and also temperature. Anything behind you, Lord? Did you hear that? I heard it's something. Yeah. yeah. And that wasn't any... Say it again. Go ahead, Nathan. They seem to be responding yeah. to you. Well, maybe that's what we need to do. We need to bully the bullies. Yeah. You were nothing when you were alive, and you're even less now that you're dead. All right, teams, just to let you know that you only have 30 minutes left for your first half of investigation. I'm going to run that thermal for a little. Ready? Ready? Hey, you psycho. Come down here. Heard a noise coming from down the tunnel. <gasps> Look at that. Just keep going. No, Bob, I don't want to lose this. Wait. Look how hot that is. Keep going. Keep going. And we're going to stick around. Stop pushing me. Anything behind I already pushed you. I walked all the way back here. I heard it. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah he's over wasn't here. Any... I was back here. I was back in there. You just got Something pushed. Something just pushed me. Where are they at, Jeff? The they're, the they're in the tunnel now in the basement of Quaker. OK, what do you say we get you wired? Let's rock. So right now we've got Bob uh, with Quest Paranormal getting suited up with a solo cam with a harness that fits on his chest and a camera that shoots back to his face. What's going on with Bob? He's so far down in these damn tunnels. For, for not being here before, you can get damn near lost down there. Uh. The look on his face seems to be very concerned. I can see the transmission on the video start going. You better be careful. We just lost the uh, connection. Yeah, there it goes. Bob! Bob. What the? Just lost the uh, connection. Bob, Bob. Come you got it. Damn ears, because I love this toy. There's our siren. Uh, this is my senior judge, Dave Schrader, and Dave is going to let you know how you've been faring in each of the categories. Quest. Straight out of the chute, just way too much movement. None of you stop moving during any of your EVP sweeps. And with all that water and all the shuffling, you're going to pick up so much paradelia, you're going to have so much trouble with the audio matrixing and in, in reviewing your evidence. And we're watching for that. Now, New Jersey, there was like a lack of leadership in your group. When you guys got in, it was just a, a lot of wandering and, and trying to figure out what you were going to do and what tools to use. And you guys ate up about the first 15 minutes of your investigation just kind of bumping into each other. Before we let you go and begin part two of your investigation, there's a couple things that I want to show you. 
over at the Mayflower building, evidence was already captured from another paranormal group. There was a digital still photograph taken of a shadow figure on the second floor. Over at the Quaker building, also on the second floor, there was an EVP captured by another paranormal group. Don't go away. In addition to the evidence Zach has presented, both teams are given a new piece of equipment, the EM Vortex, which attracts spirit energy by emitting pulses of electromagnetic energy. With that said, suit up again, wait for my signal, and let's begin part two. Teams will now switch locations and continue investigating for two more hours. New Jersey Ghost Hunters will now take on Quaker Hall, while Quest Paranormal will explore Mayflower Hall. We're getting near the witching hour right now, and for when I investigated this place, man, this is when this place just turned on like a nuclear power plant. What was that? Did you hear that? That moan? That's the same type stuff that I heard at that same time. It would be interesting to see if, uh, upon review of the evidence, if they were able to capture that sound. When we took the tour, this is the room that I got really, really, really nauseous. Susie. Mary. Johnny. Jackie. Do you want to go back out to where those bags were? Can you help me? This is Bob, Kenny, and Elaine from the other room. Please help me. They've become a lot more aware of their surroundings. It'll be interesting to hear from their first investigation where they were more combative to now where they're being more nurturing. How about this? rock a -bye, baby on a treetop. Uh, hold it. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the... Did somebody just move their... Can do you go, guys go like this, whoever's standing back there? Nobody's moving, Elaine. Just keep going. There is a shadow on the wall, Bob. Get over here with that camera. Now, what's interesting is in the Mayflower Room, this window is where uh, the, the last team from uh, New Jersey we're picking up all those EMF readings, right? right? The, the high EMF spikes, and that's where they're just saying they're seeing the shadows, right? Or... And they're seeing shadows in this room. Now. Let's check in right now with New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society. Beth, they're in the Quaker building. They've decided to do something they didn't do in the other building, and that's leave a recorder going for a more passive investigation. They're just going to leave it down in the basement by itself. I love that. Hey guys. I hear something in the tunnels. Are you down there? Is Nathan down this end? My name is Nathan. These tunnels, they're scary. And when I was down there last, I could hear, like, disembodied screams. Uh, so I'm anxious to see if he can experience any of that. I hear you like to pop out and scare people. What's the matter? Now that I can see you, you don't want to do it? Somebody trying to tell me something here? I heard that. Is there somebody down there? Come on. Somebody down there? Come on. That was interesting. Something we've done. Oh, man. So 
Nathan has uh, made his way down the tunnel. He turned back around to see something moving back and forth. He didn't find anything, and his teammates are pretty far away. Did any of you guys come to this door? Okay. I hope my recorder picked it up. What is our time? Teams, you just hit the one hour mark. You have one hour left. Audio, please, on Mayflower. Now, the team that we're looking at over in Mayflower is a quest team. They've been in here. They've been picking up strange voices. At one point, all three of them reacted to what they thought was children's voices. Mayflower is an absolute, just creepy, creepy building. Are you here with us again? God, this is a... What was that? This is a creepy room. Oh, my God. Did you come in here with me? Sit. I ain't sit. Sit down, over there. Sit down. Come on, let's play. Elaine clapping. Come on. Do you think is Elaine your is your mommy? Go guys. Yeah, we got something going on here. Yo. Yo. Well, bad here. Can you stay right there? Wait, it's here. It's here. It's gone. That was freaking loud. Yeah, it was. Thirty minutes left. Thirty minutes left, teams. Time to push the limits. Go to places where you don't really want to go. What do you say we get real quiet? Yeah. This is where they bang their heads so hard against the walls to try and get attention. Come on. Where they strap them down. I'm banging my head. Gotta make it sound authentic. Two teams going head to head at Penhurst State School. Seeing which one can uncover more credible, compelling evidence, both visual and audio. And it looks like right now, New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society is hearing something. Audio up. Why don't you communicate to us like you did to all those people who ignored you? You bang. And they did not respond. Where is it now? Nathan's really emotionally changed. Yeah, he's I'm turned around a lot in this. I'm starting to wonder if the energy is having an effect on him. Anything you can do, I know this is horrible. You spent your whole life screaming for help. Well, help is here! If they don't get some great Class A EVPs, I'm going to be surprised. He's doing a great job, I think. Do you want us to go away? Not hearing what you said? Oh, no meter. Keep mm -hmm. it up. Do you want us to stay here with you? Oh, I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, I'm coming back. You see that? As soon as I started to walk away, the meter went off. Just like they came and saved the people here back in the 80s, we're here to help you now. You tell us... Yeah, I heard that too. I don't know. Holy crap. All right, we're not leaving. We're not going. They do not want us to go near that sound. Is that why you went near the red light? Okay. I'll take that as a yes. That millimeter is very hard to trigger like that. I, you have to be very close to that antenna to make it alarm. If you don't want me to go near that sound you just heard, go to the red light to stop us. There it goes again. All right, I'm coming back. 
got to remember, I just told the New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society an EVP that was captured on the second floor that said, don't go away. So now they're saying, we have to go, we have to go. Well, the EVP we just showed them said, don't go away. So let's see if that causes some friction and activity. I'm coming back. I am coming back. I'm coming back. Teams, we've got about five minutes left. We've got to go. We have to go. We're getting ready to leave, so I need to ask you a question. If I leave, are you going to miss me? Yes. I heard Did you him. hear yeah, it? I yep. heard it. Yes. I'm going to ring the, uh, the siren, cue them that the investigation is over. At that point, they're going to be able to go home, get some sleep, come back in the morning and go through all of their audio and video evidence. At that point, we'll make our determination which team uh, has won Paranormal Challenge. There it is. Sorry. There it is. Ah! Shut it down. Now that both investigations are officially completed, teams must lock up all of their materials and evacuate the premises until morning. I felt that this investigation was one of the best We'll just stay here to the side, come on, come yeah, on. You, you don't mind if we uh, yeah, you stay. You can leave and we'll just hang around. <laughs> the fact that we came in with our old tricks, tried a few new things, had some new equipment, I think we could win this. The teams return the next morning to review their evidence. And to help both teams, Zach has brought in tech expert Billy Tolly. Does it make sense? Oh. Oh. They'll present the four most compelling pieces captured during the competition. Two audio and two visual. It's judgment time. I do have a competitive streak, and everybody wants to win. This is all about pride, respect, credibility. This is about getting down to the bragging rights of whose team is superior. Whether we win or we lose, we're still going to be doing what we do. But it would be great to win. Hello, teams. How are you guys doing? Good, Good. Good evidence review? Yes. Okay. I'm really eager to see what you guys discovered. But first, we're going to see how each of you fared in each of the categories. Beth, how did New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society do in uh, teamwork? Seem to be a little bit of a lack of leadership. It was almost like the first half you guys were just warming up and we really saw the teamwork come together for the second portion. So you pulled it all together in the end. Thank you. So Dave, let's find out how they did with the history. It was a little touchy at the beginning. There was not a whole lot of use of the history. It was more pronounced when you guys went to the Quaker building. I think you really used it to your advantage there, especially in the last half hour. Now, the third category is technology, how well these teams use the specific uh, pieces of equipment that they are given. Dave, how did they do on that? Well, you know, when we first did our, our review at the beginning, I said I was a little concerned because immediately as your team set up, you began by saying, here's some piece of equipment, I don't know how to use it, you go ahead and take it. New Jersey Ghost Hunter Society, go ahead and start out and present the judges with your first piece of audio evidence. Both EVPs were from the Quaker building. The first one is the unintelligible voice. So this first one, you were not uh, able to decipher any message? Given the fact that they had limited languaging skills, it's a that grunting Okay, sound. where were you at during this? First floor. All right, well, let's go ahead and present the EVP to the judges. Right, right. Billy, can you go ahead and isolate that voice and replay it? Are you tagging all the sounds you're hearing during your EVP? Yes, speech? everything. We make sure we put that on the audio so you know that. Let's move on to your, uh, your second piece. Our second EVP was also captured in the Quaker building on the second floor. Why don't you present to us what you think it says? I think it sounds, I'm nowhere, I can't be helped. Play it again. Yeah. So clearly, I must say that uh, of the EVPs, you did capture some unexplained, possibly voices. Uh, let's move on to your video evidence to the judges. 
Okay, you can see the shadow cast by the photographer. So that is actually a normal reflection of light. That, however, is what we would call an anomaly. So if you go to the next picture, it's gone. In the next frame, the next shot, Laura is actually responding to behind her where we found this picture anomaly. Judges, any questions? Let's move on to the second piece. Second piece demonstrates there was somewhat of an intelligence and an interaction with our Melmeter. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm coming back. When we were making the attempt to leave, it would signal. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm coming back. Uh, that investigation was really pushing me to the edge of the seat. You guys were in the room where you had heard about an EVP that said don't go and you were getting a very similar phenomenon. Thank you very much, but at this time, we need to have uh, Quest Paranormal come in and present to us their evidence. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Quest Paranormal Society, how are you guys doing? Great. Great. Let's see how the judges felt and how you did in the first three categories. Let's start off by teamwork. Uh, Jeff, how'd they do in that category? Well, at first, there was a lot of bickering. It was almost like a, a married trio. <laughs> I did learn after a while that that's how you show love. I differ a little bit from Jeff. The infighting got on my nerves. I don't think that the spirits uh, would take as easily to hearing three people that couldn't even get along very well. Using history in your second category, how well did they use this history, Dave? Yeah, you didn't really seem to reference it on camera, the history. I will give you some credit, though, to the fact that uh, you took to the location. I like that you began role playing. That was actually our plan. Okay. The difference is in the building. One building's negative, one building is sympathetic. Good strategy. Now, the third category is technology. Uh, Jeff, how well did they use that equipment? In the first half of the investigation, there's a lot more movement when you were doing your EVP sweeps, and in the second half, you, you kind of hunkered down a little more. So I'm really curious and excited to see where you got your results and when. All that matters and the evidence, and if you got evidence, and let's move to that category. Present us with your two audio pieces. This was captured in the first floor of the Mayflower. Bob and I were calling out names because there were people here with every name. It's a good strategy. Okay, you're going to hear in here, what is your name? Are you Mary? Mary. Mo. Are you Mary? Very interesting. Yeah. Are you Mary? Are you Mary? All right, let's move to your second piece. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. And where were you with this one? The same place, the okay. first floor of the Mayflower. Hello? Yeah. Is that the Melmeter yes. going off that's at the same the, exact yeah, time? Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Let's hear it one more time, Billy. Uh, I love how you guys, how fast you guys could pick apart something, you'd hear a noise and you would pick it apart right away. Uh, let's move on to your video evidence. We were on the second floor. Kenny got a sick feeling. He was calling up this man. Look at the man. Do you see his whole body there? Here's his head. head. You can actually see the detail in his face. He's sitting with his hands folded. Very interesting photo. Show us your second piece of visual evidence. I asked for the door to be slammed. Okay. It's slammed. That's the door. I thought it was very interesting how you were actually yelling out to do something in that nature the and, door. and it happened. Mm -hmm. This case Judges, any questions? Yeah. Well, thank you very much for thank your presentation. You. you are dismissed, and we will call you back shortly with the judge's decision. Thank, thank you. you. What we have to look at is how a team works together. Bob, I'm getting soaked. Elaine, shut the up, would you? Quest was extreme. They were super mellow. There was nothing in between. Let me out! 
New Jersey made good, valid points for using the history of investigation. This is where they bang their heads so hard against the walls to try and get attention. Beth, what team do you think third best in technology? I'm gonna have to say Quest. They seem to have a better grasp on all of the tools. No, I think uh, Quest was a lot more contaminated, especially in the first section. We had them come here for what people want to see, what people want to hear, mm -hmm. and that is evidence for audio. I was impressed by the little girl noise. Right I after the millimeter went off? Yeah, I thought that was a great combination of events. Hello? Yeah. And for that, I think Quest delivered. I'm gonna go with New Jersey for video because I was impressed by the millimeter. The video piece that was more intriguing was watching the millimeter react to them. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm coming back. I'm kind of tossed up here. I mean, it's hard because they both did great jobs in various areas. And they're almost even. We've all come to a decision. I agree. Absolutely. All right, it's final. Let's invite the teams back. Amazing investigations, both of you. It was very hard for the judges, Dave and myself, to make a decision. But there is only one winner. The winner of Paranormal Challenge Penhurst is... Quest Paranormal Society. Yeah! Congratulations, guys. It means a lot to me, personally. I'm a big fan of Zach Vegas. I think he does things right. And I'm honored that, that he, he, he would have chosen us. You guys are awesome. I, know. I, really cool. I would have liked to have gone home with the bragging rights, but to lose to a good team, yeah. I don't mind. Paranormal Challenge rocks. This is the world of the unknown. This is the paranormal. This is Panthers.